guys, this is Sonic Freak. I am doing a WWE TLC reaction right now. Let's start. Leave the main event last. I'm going to start from the first match all the way down. Alright. The first match was WWE Championship TLC match between Drew Mac the champion Drew McIntyre and he just sells. It was a brilliant match. But I don't know why the Miz just cashed in straight away or doing nearly halfway through the match. Yeah, if I know Drew did hurt his leg and same thing Angel hurt uh, over his back. But I don't know why did the Miz just, just cashed in. He should have just waited till the match ended, but instead he cashed in doing the match and made it from a one on one TLC match for the title into the triple threat TLC match for the title. Drew won, he retained the WWE Championship, and that was a brilliant match coming for me. First time ever Drew versus AJ Styles in a TLC match. Miss was close, being on it, he was. That close of winning the title until that Drew came on the Miz, AJ still was out the outside the ring and then grabbed the title. Like obviously came up up the ladder and grabbed the title. Miz, I don't know what the hell you were thinking of. Yeah, it was a good idea to cash in, but you should wait until the after the match because then even Drew or AJ won't be able to. Not say like compete, but like not able to fight through the pain. You just messed up the perfect chance of cashing in, win by the WWE title, but you have held for 10 years now. 10 years now you have held the title until you fuck things up. Sorry is my language, but that's what I'm saying. Miz always be my favorite superstar. Since I seen how good he is, he was a brilliant superstar. But I think it's the only time, only chance that the Miz could actually get a title opportunity for the WWE title, even challenge Drew for the title online, or at the Royal Rumble wins the Royal Rumble match, main event at WrestleMania, win the title. Or even wait till the elimination chamber ma chamber come up, qualifying himself himself through the elimination chamber, wins it, dethrone dethrone Drew McIntyre as a WWE champion. That's I think. Being honest, right. The next match was um. Try to think now. Um. I think it was the. I think it was the SmackDown Women's Championship. I think it was, yeah, SmackDown Women's Championship match. Sasha Banks versus Kamala. It was a brilliant match, being honest. It's gone back and forth. Until that some Kamala nearly won. She almost had it until that Sasha Banks forced Kamala to tap out from the bank statement. That was a brilliant match. Coming for me. If you guys agree with me or not, you could. I don't care if you agree with me or not. That was a brilliant match I ever watched. Both between both women, one woman is a Grand Slam champion, and Camilla is a former women's champion, two times money Miss Money in the Bank winner, and yeah, the next match was. The New Day as the, obviously the War Tag Team Champions against the Her Business of Shelton Benjamin and Sandra Alexandra. It was a good match, being honest, but I'm glad that Sandra and then Shelton Benjamin won the title. How long that Shelton thing was, um, some old job when he said that Shelton Benjamin had a, basically have a won a tag team title for about. Well, 17 years now, until now, he won the title with Sentry and Alessandra. They did one thing that was a good match. It's back and forth. 
again between those two brilliant tag teams. Yeah, fine enough, MVP was in winning side, but lucky enough, MVP didn't even interfere the match. He let those two to carry on the match, and yes, I basically I give all respect to MVP. He did give Kevin Jack and Alessandra water to like bring his fluid back up. I glad he did that because all the shits going on of. COVID-19 going on at the moment. That was a great match between two great tag teams. Finally, the new day the no longer tag team war tag team champions. I hope then. I think of course now. I think that Coffee Kingston might have a chance to regain the WWE Championship because like, yeah, fine enough he lost the title against Brock, like ten. 15 seconds, roughly around that, at the premiere of SmackDown on Fox. That was a good, oh, and that, that was a good, not, it was in a long match between Brock and Kofi, but like, Kofi nearly had him, just, he didn't think straight. I hope that the Royal Rumble, even Miz or Kofi wins the Royal Rumble match, and main event at WrestleMania. Kofi being honest, he deserves another opportunity for the title. He only had one opportunity, that's against Daniel Bryan, oh, the new Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania 34. And that's be me being honest. I watched that match at WrestleMania 34 between the new Daniel Bryan and Kofi Kingston. It was a brilliant match I ever watched in my entire life. Between those two former, no, back then it was Dana Bryan as the WWE Champion, Coffee obviously the number one contender. Because obviously, lucky for now, both his tag team partners, Becky and Cole, Xavier Woods, helped Coffee out to win, but obviously they were in the Gotland match against the other tag teams. Alright, and um, the next match I think it was. Um, the WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. I was shocked. I knew Asuka would win the match, but I was shocked seeing both former rivals tag team each other together. Charlotte Flair. She's now a Grand Slam Champion because she won the NXT Women's Title. She won the War Tag Women's Championship. She won the SmackDown Women's Championship and now the Women's Tag Team Titles. I was glad that Charlotte agreed to be Oscar's tag team partner. I'm glad, being honest, I'm glad Oscar did chose Billy Kay because I'm mostly like, uh, no, not just why I saw Billy Kay want to be want ask want to be tag team partner with Oscar was falling my head. No, 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 no way. Asuka would lose if she had Billy Gay as a tag team partner. Lucky enough, Asuka chose a white women, white superstar, white tag team partner to choose. That was the Queen Charlotte Flair. Alright, the next match was the Universal Championship TLC match between Kevin O. Oh, the Tribal Chief Roman Wins and versus Kevin Owens. Obviously, Paul Heyman in ringside. It was a good idea from Cole and Kevin sneak to attack Roman after Roman came in the ring. But when Jay Uso interfered in the match, it was a one on one match. It was basically it was two on one on Kevin. That was an affair match coming for me. Kevin was close. He was that close to become the new WWE Universal Champion. But Woman cheated. I never liked Woman Wings from a start when I seen him. I never liked him. I never liked his personality at all. Fine enough, he's cousins with The Rock. A.K.A. obviously Dwayne Johnson. But I never liked Woman. Something about him I just don't like. It's just like, he's a prick, being honest. I'm sorry, I'm being, all, being honest. He's a prick. The way he's treating Jay also is rubbish. Disrespect, threatening him, 
And like even when Jay also goes back with Roman, Roman ends up fucking betraying Jay. Like a few weeks ago, hitting Jay with a steel jet after those who assaulted Gavin with a steel jet. And sooner or later, Roman had fucking basically attacked Jay behind with a steel jet. And still Jay still go back there with Roman. Being honest, that ain't family. And that's coming from me. Being honest to me, I don't care about my family members because all of them treat me like shit. Being honest, so my, my language but it's true. The only family member who does treat me like crap is my cousin. Not saying who names, but my cousin who doesn't. And that's me being honest. The way that Roman treat me with Jay is rubbish, is terrible disrespect. And I bet on SmackDown this Friday on SmackDown, women are going to be really annoyed to keep Jay. He's like, why are you keep getting involved in my match? I could handle Kevin Owens myself. Don't forget, Kevin Owens is not going to give up. He will manage to find a way to beat all oh, Roman Reigns. And we could find out this Friday on SmackDown Live. We could find out, being honest, I think what Kevin Owens deserves another opportunity for the title. But this time, Jay also is banned from wings, so he's banned from interfering in the match. If Jay also getting fear in the match, Woman gets strapped for the title. Coming for me, it should be one on one between Owens and Woman. And also, just before anything else, even other superstars trying to get involved in the match to help Woman win some way in the match, they should be also banned. If anyone interfere in the match, Woman will get stripped from the title. That's why I'm hoping that's going to happen after Royal Rumble. I'm hoping now. And the PS, who's in charge, the officials at SmackDown, do me a favor. This next month, on the 30th, 31st of January, of the Royal Rumble pay per view, make that stipulation in, in it. Even put him, put Jay or Jay was in the shark cage. That means Jay cannot get involved. Kevin always could have a chance to have a one on one match. No one's involved. Anyone's getting involved. Mormon gets stripped of the title. Coming for me. Now, the main event The Fiend Bray Wyatt versus the Viper, the legend killer, Randy Orton. First, when the match started, like, wondering. Where's the flame? It may be flames around the wing. Cause last time I watched an Inferno match, it was flames around the wing. But until like Bray like busy sort of like summon the flame, like ah okay, it's not around the wing. It's busy around the barricade. Ah, oh, I got it now. It was doing well, but until that Bray got into in flames, and obviously. He went in the in 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 the wing. Randy Orton used RKO. He noticed like that's strange. Bray's he's not moving. He just tapped Bray with his foot. And soon later he quickly grabbed the petrol fluids and put all over him. And and then back out, grabbed the matches, I liked it. And when he dumped that on Bray, I went, what the fuck? I never ever seen that happening before in the WWE. No one didn't even bother to stop Randy from doing that. Why now? I'm basically, I'm not going to be able to get any sleep right now. Because saying that match, Bray is in flames. We all don't know, is he still alive? We could find out tonight on war, but I don't know. Is he still alive? No one could not survive from a flame. Bray wasn't even moving when the flames went all over him. All over his body and his face. I was shocked seeing that match. I don't know what the hell was Randy was doing. Find out the fiend was basically a threat, but Doing that to the fiend, he's a human being. He's still a human being, just 
a good different gimmick. But he's still a human being, and that's the first time I ever seen that happen. If Brain somehow being honest somehow survive from that, I don't know what the hell's going on. Alright guys, this is the WWE TLC reaction. Can you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, purchase my merchandise. See you guys next time. And before I go, on the 23rd of December is a Carabao Cup match between Manchester United and Everton. I don't worry, I am going to do a reaction. But I'm going to tell this recording being uploaded, then I can do a reaction. But I haven't seen the high. I've watched the highlights just yet. But when I watch the highlights, then I do the recording, then I upload on, on this, on YouTube. See you guys next time. I'm the king of games. New mission I'm gonna make. Breeze. Fears. Sonic. Freak. See you guys next time.